I did not know that. Thanks for stopping by. I did not know that. Please like and subscribe. I'll think about it. That's all I ask. Napoleon Dynamite was a surprise hit of 2004. Made for only $400,000, to date it's made an amazing $45 million. Oh, incredible. The film is full of memorable phrases and characters that people have been imitating since the movie first came out. Napoleon, give me some of your tots. No, go find your own. Tina, you fat lard, come get some dinner. Today we're going to look at some of the fun facts regarding this film. Director Jared Hess is a Mormon and was on a mission trip. While in Chicago, an old Italian man asked him, Hey church people, I want to talk to you guys. Why do you have the name Elder? Hess told him it's a title they carry for two years and then asked him his name. The man said, uh, my name is Napoleon Dynamite. Hess didn't believe that was his real name, but loved the sound of it. He quickly wrote down on a piece of paper, title of first movie must be Napoleon Dynamite. When Hess was in film school, he made a short film called Palooka. The film was shot in black and white with 1960s and 70s music playing in the background. It's clear Hess was trying to give Napoleon and his town the feel of a place that was just a bit out of step with modern times. John Heater was still the main character in the short, but his name was Seth. I think changing the name to Napoleon Dynamite was a great idea, don't you? I provided a link to the film short below. If you watch the Palooka film short, you'll notice that the character of Pedro is a bit different from the one in the feature film. In the short, there are actually two characters called Gil and Pedro who did what Pedro did later in the full-length movie. Sadly for them, neither actor got to play the big screen Pedro. Hess said everything in the film was autobiographical. For example, the character of Napoleon was also a combination of all the most nerdy and awkward parts of himself and his brothers growing up. He said a lot of the lines Napoleon says are a direct transcript of their most nerdy moments in life. Trying to earn money for college. Your mom goes to college. <laughs> Aaron Rule is the actor who played Kip. He's also a close friend of director Jared Hess. Rule mentioned to Hess that he had a brother who spent a lot of time in chat rooms with Russian women proofreading their school assignments. Fine, don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. So now you know where that famous line came from. Rule's brother also was the one who had purchased a time machine from a man in Florida. Rule said that the time machine scene in the film was pretty close to what occurred in real life. He said his brother loved the time machine segment in the film. Funny enough, there were elements that he recognized, but not overall. He, he wasn't offended or see himself too closely. By the way, Rule made just $25 a day for 18 days, which came out to be $450. Doesn't work. Well, I could have told you that. Usually it's best to listen to the experts. People with a lot of experience who can give you sound advice when your knowledge is lacking, but sometimes they can be completely wrong. One top Hollywood casting director watched the short film Hess had made and told him to dump John Heater. Listen guys, I love your vibe. I love what you guys are doing. The script's fantastic. I love what the director's doing, but I gotta tell you that John Heater guy in the short film, I don't think I could watch him for an hour and a half straight. He suggested Jake Gyllenhaal for the role. He said, Jake's really looking for something indie, off the wall. I've got a good relationship with Jake. Sometimes it's best to stick with your gut. It reminds me of the story when a penniless Sylvester Stallone wrote the script for Rocky and intended to star in it. The studios loved the script, but they wanted Burt Reynolds or Ryan O'Neill to play Rocky Balboa. Stallone knew he was the only one right for the part, and he turned them down. They eventually relented, 
Sly Stallone is Rocky, just as John Heater is Napoleon. And anyone else in that role would have ruined the film, don't you think? I have to admit, I love all these unique characters in this unusual movie. Well, that's it for this episode, but I came across so many cool stories regarding this film that I have enough to make part two if this one gets enough views. Thanks for stopping by, and we will see you soon.